Here at eRequester, we know it takes things to run your business. Be it a widget, a gadget, or even a service. And we know that these are all part of your daily workflow to keep your business strong. But do you ever think about how much time and money you spend just to spend money? Or how you could streamline your purchasing process to minimize its impact? Here at eRequester, we've already done it for you with a robust set of tools and a powerful integration with some of the most popular accounting systems, we can provide you with ways to control your purchasing costs down to the penny. eRequester is a web-based system, so there's no software to install or maintain on a workstation. With eRequester's easy-to-use interface, users can be creating requests in five easy steps. Let's have a look. When a user logs in to eRequester, they'll go directly to their inbox. Here, they can see all the transactions they've created. Some of them may be waiting for approval. Others may be incomplete, waiting for them to submit for approval. You can create a new request by clicking the New Request button. This is the first step of setting up a request. You can type a little note of what you want to purchase, select your request type, and a department, both of which can be configured by your eRequester admin. Clicking Save and Continue will take you to step two of creating a request. This is the step that you'd add line items that you'd like to purchase. You can select a vendor, type in what you'd like to purchase, enter a quantity and cost, and even select a GL account. Depending on your business needs, your eRequester admin may elect to hide some of these fields so they don't have to be selected at this stage. That data can be changed by someone else other than the requester. Want to add another line item you need to purchase? Just click the Save and Add New button. Need to have an internal list of items you want your users to select from? Your eRequester admin can do that as well. Speaking of GL accounts, your eRequester admin has the ability to create masks for those accounts to really limit what users request. Once you're done adding all your line items, you can click Save and Continue. Here on the shipping screen, you can select where the items need to be shipped and how they need to be shipped. Of course, all configured by your app. Once you've saved the shipping screen, you're on to step four. Here, you can review the requisition and change anything as needed before you send it for approval. Need to attach any required support documents to go along with this request? You can do that on this screen as well. Clicking Save and Continue will put you on to step five of the request. On this screen, it will show you where the transaction is going for approval. Need to alert another eRequester user that you are making this transaction? Select them from the list and they will get a notification. The eRequester admin has the ability to create very granular routing rules based on your business needs using our very powerful routing rules engine. Once a request is submitted, the approver will get a notification that they need to approve a transaction. These notifications will have all the basic information about the transaction awaiting their approval. When the approver logs in, they can go to the Pending Approval tab to see all the transactions awaiting their approval. Opening a request will show the approver all the data that was originally entered in the transaction. And depending on their rights, they have the ability to change the data as well. They can even scroll to the bottom to see the entire history of the transaction. They can even see and open the attachments by the original requester. You'll notice only the Approve button is available here. If you want to activate the rest of the buttons, just type a note. Once you do that, you can require a change from the original requester. You can ask a question from any available eRequester user in the system or you can just save a comment in the transaction. Or, of course, you can reject it. You can also alert anybody that you're making this comment, or just click Approve. Once a request is fully approved, 
we can send an email notification to the PO coordinator letting them know that they can convert this transaction to a purchase order. And of course, the email will contain all the general information about the transaction. Or we can have the system do it for you automatically. When the PO coordinator logs into eRequester, they can go to the Create PO tab to see all the transactions that have been fully approved. They can highlight the transaction and click Create PO. Want to email the PO directly to the vendor? Just open up the purchase order, check the data, and email it directly from eRequester. eRequester will fill out all the contact information for you. Any attachments included in the request you can option to send to the vendor. You can also type a specialized message here that you'd like the vendor to get. When the vendor receives the email from the requester, it will have your note, any attachments, and a PDF version of the purchase order. You can even expand eRequester's capability with optional modules. With eRequester's mobile approval module, you can view any transaction waiting your approval on your mobile phone. You can open any request awaiting your approval. You can scroll through the lines easily. You can view line item details and easily scroll through multiple lines. You also have access to all the attachments uploaded to the request. You can approve, require changes, request info, and reject directly from your mobile device. Looking for an even faster way to approve eRequester transactions? Well, now there's a way. With eRequester's email approval module, you can approve transactions directly from an email. Scrolling through the transaction will show you all the details you'd normally see in eRequester. Line item information, shipping details, everything you need to know. Not in the office? It works the same way from your mobile device as well. Just click reply, fill in a comment if needed, and send, and eRequester takes care of the rest. With our Vendor Punch-Out module, you can access thousands of items from vendors that support standard CXML. Just select a Punch-Out vendor and click the Punch-Out button. Once you do that, you can shop directly from the vendor's website. Just search for items, place them in your cart, and submit it for approval. Once a transaction is fully approved and converted to a purchase order, the punch-out vendor will receive the electric purchase order in real time directly from eRequester. For more information about eRequester or any of our optional modules, feel free to contact us anytime. And we'd be happy to answer any questions that you have.